Hello and good morning. It is Greg and I. Greg and I are headed to Aiken, South Carolina. We're going to pick up some amateur radio equipment. Then we're headed up to the Atlanta area to AP3 where I get my vehicles wrapped. We're headed to Aiken, South Carolina. Today will be our first stop. And then on to Marietta, Georgia to AP3. Yes, sir. I am bringing the new lightning to the guys there at AP3 at their new location in Marietta. They're going to wrap and ceramic coat the truck. All right. Well, let's figure out where we're going today. Let's see if the truck navigation is up for the task. Navigate to Aiken, South Carolina. Say the address that you're looking for, like 125 Main Street. 125 Main Street. No results found. Okay, I guess Aiken, South Carolina has now been removed from the map. Let's try again. Navigate to Aiken, South Carolina. Which item would you like? Oh, Ken, Patel, Ken. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Not a Ken, like a Ken. No, Aiken. All right, let me let me put some Southern in it. Y'all take me to Aiken, South Carolina. Please try again. Dang, you can't make you happy at all. Okay, I'm going to send you away. Hey, Siri. No, wait, wrong one. Um, Alexa. Alexa, take me to Aiken, South Carolina. I couldn't find no way Getting directions to Aiken, South Carolina. Lee, they're all going this morning. Oh, Obey traffic laws. Be alert and use voice commands while driving. Well, now that, now when that's possible. Make a U-turn. Chatty Kathy. Well, now that's an interesting thing. Alexa, same place Amazon you buy things, knows we're Aiken, South Carolina, but my truck does not. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Alexa has set us up here. We are, uh, uh oh, sorry. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Hmm, I don't have to need to talk to you. The girl in the computer here uh, set our navigation up here, as you can see. And uh, we're heading south here, getting on Interstate 26 and then 20 into Aiken this morning. So sit back, put your tray tables up, and relax. We're just here on Highway 385 and tooling down the road, headed to Aiken. We're making decent progress this morning. We're just about off 385 here onto Interstate 26. That heads east and west, believe it or not. And then uh, we get on uh, Interstate 20 all the way to Aiken. Let's have a uh, energy check here. Looks like uh, 247 miles on the GOM and 109 miles total to go. And yes, we're currently running Blue Cruise hands free. On a straight road, works pretty darn good. You get into the curves, well, maybe not so much. We're on Interstate 26 now, and you can see it's overcast. I really think we've got some weather coming this way. But anyway, there you go. That's about all the sunset, sunrise you're going to see this morning.
We're here near Columbia, South Carolina, and all the traffic's backed up because the tow truck has a tow strap on a van that crashed, and he's towing it down the middle of the interstate. And uh, all the uh, highway patrol have their lights on, and all today's northbound traffic is crawling. So I don't want to speak about the T. Might cause me trouble. We are 14 miles to our turn onto Interstate 20. It'll be uh, right near downtown Columbia. Little energy check. See if I can sneak it in there without the camera getting me. 191 miles of range and 66 to go. And yes, uh oh, it's whining. It's uh, been on uh, Blue Cruise the whole way. It's a straight shot down here, but we're in uh, construction now, and uh, it is not happy. Uh, I've got a hand on the wheel. It wants to drive everywhere, but it's uh, been on the whole time here. We've now come to a complete stop, 4.4 miles. I'm looking at our nav, <laughs> and there's no indication of traffic. What the heck? Come on, really? Oh, man. I thought this nav had traffic. Well, then there you go. We're just at the off-ramp here to Interstate 20 to Augusta, which is on the other side of Aiken. Right lane, maybe? In the right lane. Then take exit 107A toward Augusta. Hey, there you go. 107A. I'm sure it should have said 107A. There's the clover leaf. All right, and just like that. We are southwest bound on Interstate 46 miles on I-20. What she said. I keep noticing these gauges. Look at them really close. Hmm. We're making decent progress here on Interstate 20, 33 miles to our off-ramp. driving down the road and uh, hey we can uh, get ourselves alone check that out on wheels no less just off the highway in Aiken that's A-I-K-E-N alright here we go continue five miles five miles she says we've arrived here 103 miles left of range that'll get us down to the dc fast charger in augusta georgia all right we're here in aiken south carolina at our buddy's house yeah i did it it's the uh, sb220 it's a power spy for the SB220. I got the rest of the SB220 station in here, the transceiver, station console, spectrum analyzer, speaker, uh, SB650 display, everything is padded. I don't think anything's gonna rub. I think we are good to go. Greg and I are just leaving Aiken, South Carolina. Picked up the uh, vintage Heathkit ham radio system or setup or configuration. It's very nice condition and uh, it's an SB102 with all of its accessories, including an SB650 Nixie display, amplifier, and all the station accessories. Very nice. All right, well, that's going in my uh, ham radio shack at the house. And uh, we are now headed to Marietta, Georgia. Now our second part of the trip 
is to take the F-150 here to my uh, paint protection film store, the people that have done all my cars, called AP3. They have actually uh, two stores now. They have uh, the Alpharetta, Georgia store where I've taken all my stuff. But now uh, they actually have a, stay there, actually have uh, uh, a new store in Marietta. Turn left on I-20. And uh, that's where I'm going. I'm going to the uh, Marietta store uh, to get the work done here on the Lightning. Turn left on I-20. We've got an intermediate stop. We're going to uh, stop at Electrify America, just to the west of Augusta in about 29 miles. We're getting close to our exit here, 1.7 miles, and uh, the rain has started. How nice. Yeah, we stopped here at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, if you're not in North America, is a uh, very nice uh, chicken place. And we got a couple uh, spicy chicken sandwiches. And they've got lemonade, which is really awesome. If you haven't tried Chick-fil-A, I recommend you do. It's uh, very good. All right, we're headed across the highway. And uh, we're going to hook up at the Electrify America here in this uh, shopping area here. All right, Walmart parking lot, and uh, we've got a, looks like i got one customer here. It looks like a, uh, I don't know who has a, I don't think that's an Ionic 5, might be. All right, so we're going to try a 350, because uh, I want to. Right, well, the uh, other one, is that a 152? Yeah, no, that's a 350. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if I can not park crazy. <laughs> and first of all, is it running? Yes. Believe it or not, yay! It doesn't say not working. How about that? It might be in business. If I don't whack this uh, shopping cart thing. Oh, they could have put it in a little bit better place, but it's okay. I'm not going to whine too much. Reason we're hooking up to a 350 is this uh, truck will charge at uh, 150 uh, instead of about 120. So there you go. All right, uh, it appears to work. Can't swear to it, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna get my Electrify America app out and get going. Yes, sir, 24 cents a minute. And uh, do our state of charge, we'll continue here. Oh. Here. and um, should show us our uh, power here. Come on. That blows 119 kilowatts. That's all right. I think the top end of this uh, truck is uh, 150 and uh, we're at 120, that really sucks, but it's okay. I'm hungry, we're gonna eat. And of course we arrived at 58 miles, 25%. We're gonna charge up now and uh, probably get to 80% and head up to Marietta. All right, a little update here. We're at uh, 73%, 205 miles now. Uh, we're hooked up to a 350, putting out about 124 kilowatts. And Ford, you know, you see right here, Right there, do you see that right there? You could put how much power the car is charging at. Wouldn't that be neat? I think it would. All right, well, let's uh, see where we're at. We'll go to recents, and we're going to this location here, okay? 139 miles away. Yeah, we're arriving with 18%. That's a good thing. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's get unplugged and get down the road. Well, I think Blue Cruise died. Uh, I'm in lane keeping, but as you can see, I'm gonna put me in the ditch here. 
apparently uh, doesn't like this uh, light rain. Looks, uh, it's not foggy, it's misty from that truck up front. Anyway, so much for that. We're about uh, 80 miles from our destination on the way to Marietta, Georgia. We're just getting in the outskirts of Atlanta. We have to transition through the middle here. And uh, I've got 48 miles on the tank and 34 to go. 22% of the battery. Yeah, we're getting close now. 27 miles to go and 41 miles of range. Look at that, 19%. Are you getting scared? Yeah, this is like demolition derby, Greg says, and I totally agree. We're uh, 9.8 miles from our destination here, and uh, man, oh man, it's not even 5 o'clock. We just dropped the contents off at the rent car place and loaded up the rent car, and now we're taking the lightning over to AP3, dropping it off. This is AP3's new building. It's here in Marietta. All right, let's get this checked in. Yeah, they must be having a party in the back. Yeah, yeah nice facility. A little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah. All right, let's go figure out where everybody is. Join the party. Oh, look, waiting room. How nice. You can actually see the facility from here. Oh, how nice is this? Look at this. This looks great. All right. Well, let's get it checked in here. This is inside of the new AP3 detailing area. Take a walk down here. I'll tell you what. I don't drive 140 miles to get my car's PPF for nothing. These guys do an absolute awesome job. They're Attention to detail is uh, is everything. Look at this. They've got the space both in Alpharetta and in uh, Marietta here now to do uh, all kinds of cars. There, uh, as you can see, uh, doesn't have to be a Tesla. This is a Lamborghini. This is a McLaren. Top notch. Trying to get the behemoth in here. Yeah. It's gonna look great when we get done with it. Yeah, you won't believe it. I gotta buy this crap. Dino juice for this uh, fossil fuel car. They didn't have anything with an electric. Enterprise, come on, get your crap together. All right, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, can you believe it? So uh, it was about a quarter of a tank. Yeah, $37. You know how many miles I could drive in my EV for $37? Wow. It's now 7 p.m. Greg and I are on the way back home from Atlanta, Georgia. We had to fight all that stupid traffic. Man, oh man, what a mess. Anyway, we dropped the lightning off at AP3. They're going to be working it. We'll pick it up next week. I'm in a loaner or a rent car here. It is a uh, Honda Pilot. I'm going to be doing a, a video comparison between the Model Y and this. Should be an interesting one. Anyway, we've got several hours to go. Just tooling down the road. We're now into South Carolina. And uh, we're running uh, in the pilot here, a thing called LKAS, Link or uh, Lane Keeping Assist System or something, and it's crappy. Um, I say that only because I'm trying to let it drive, and when it drives, it uh, drives along and then uh, runs into the side uh, and then wiggles the wheel, and then it works its way back in. And uh, the beam is really wide, so depending on who you're passing, you'll slow down sometimes to their speed. Uh, it's really weird. Anyway, it's uh, an aid, I suppose, uh, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's what it is. Go Honda Pilot. 
we're moving along now. We made it to Greenville, and uh, we're getting close, about 13 miles to our off-ramp here. I am home. Yes, sir. I am uh, probably 700 miles today from Tryon to uh, Greg's house in Greer. We left Greer in the morning. It was three hours down, 150 miles. From there, we went uh, through Augusta. I'm gonna shut this off. Went through Augusta, charged up, went on to Marietta, Georgia, rented this, uh, knee, or what is this thing, a, a Honda Pilot. And then uh, we drove all the way back through the Atlanta traffic uh, uh, drop Greg off and now I'm back in Tryon. So I would bet I've got probably five, 600 miles under my belt today. Anyway, if you like today's video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you would, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next videos.